Hi guys, I want to talk to you about penciling dates in diaries. Um, I get asked about this quite a lot from speakers, especially when they're working with more than one speaker bureau, about penciling etiquette. And here's my view, and this is what, this is what I think. So if a, a speaker bureau or a client comes to you and says, please would you, you know, are you available for this date, for this event, this time, location, price, etc.? please would you pencil it? Um, I absolutely uh, pencil it if you're available, but, but then I'd ask several questions. Um, one is, you know, when will you be making a decision? And if they haven't got a date and they don't know when they're going to make a decision, I would say to them, well, I'll tell you what, I pencil my dates for two weeks and then I would come back to you for an update whether you want to renew that pencil or, or release it. So they know that there's, a, there's a, a, a time span where you're going to be contacting them again. Because the worst thing you can do is pencil a date and just hold it for months uh, and, you know, endlessly. Uh, the only time I would make an exception on that is if the event is 18 months in advance or a year in advance, uh, which can happen. And then you might say to them, I'll come back to you in a month for an update if I haven't heard. I would also ask the question, how many other people are being penciled for this? Uh, and I'd ask them at what stage, are they, are they penciling you because you're put, being put forward to the decision makers um, and they are checking people's availability before you are put forward to the decision makers or are they penciling you uh, because you've been shortlisted and they're now saying yes we want to know if that person's available because that will make a difference as to how important that pencil is because you you actually want to really in your diary have a, a, a sort of a grading I would have a light pencil when it's all a bit vague you're going to be put forward there's 10 other people being put forward um, and I would put a proper pencil in um, so normal pencil as I would call it um, if somebody has put you forward um, and you've been shortlisted then you're a bit closer um, and then obviously it's a pen when it's contracted um, so the other thing on pencils if you're dealing with a speaker bureau I would want to know who the end client is and speaker bureaus are often reluctant and actually many event organizers are reluctant to tell you who the end client is and, and here's my thinking on this I would say if you can't tell me who the end client is there may be a conflict of interest I may already be having a relationship with that client uh, in some form, in terms of what I might be consulting, whatever, and therefore may not be allowed to speak in other areas. So, you know, it's, it's a dangerous game if you don't tell me who the end client is. And I've had that happen where a, a, um, an organiser has refused to tell me who the end client is. And then the speaker has said, actually, there's a conflict of interest here because I'm working with that comp their competitor and therefore I can't. Um, I'm part of my agreement with the competition is that I can't work for that particular client so I would push for that uh, and the other reason you push for that is especially if you're working uh, with bureaus or event organizers somebody else might come to you for for that date even for that event and you won't necessarily know because they might have different information Chinese whispers you they might not have all the same details and suddenly you find that you've got two people asking you for the same date listen I could go on and on about penciling here there's so many things um, so what about the etiquette of penciling in terms of if someone comes to you first and then someone comes to you second with regards to the same event, what do you do? Personally, I would honour the first pencil and I would say to the person coming to me second, I've already got that date penciled uh, with another party. You don't necessarily need to reveal who that other party is, so I can give you second pencil. Then what do you do? You would either decide whether you're going to say, look, first past the post gets the booking. Some speakers do that. Or you might say, actually, I want to honour the first pencil if you've got a very good relationship. If something, somebody comes to you and you're with the same event, I would go back to the first person who's penciled me and say, I just want you to let you know that somebody else has come to me with that same inquiry, that same event, that same date. Because if there's two parties working with the same client, they should go back. Only one of them is going to get the booking. Only one of them is going to get the gig. And they should go back to the and say, listen, Mr. Client, uh, who are you working with? Um, and hopefully, because you've been open and transparent about it, whoever gets it will come back to you to book you as the speaker. But that's a big problem these days that there are, um, there's a lot of mistrust in the business uh, where people think that, uh, you know, 
the, the, the diff and actually there's something in some cases there's reason for it that people are you know giving different fees um, and that happens because there's no fee integrity in especially in the UK um, and so they'll go to several different parties in order to get the best deal or a, a bureau or an agent or an event organizer isn't fast and therefore they go to somebody else because you've not come back to me fast enough with an answer therefore I'm going to somebody else so this is how you end up with several people dealing with the same inquiries and the same pencils but I suppose uh, for me really the important thing is with pencils you need to know who the end client is you need to know when they're going to take the next decision if they can't tell you that you take control of that and say in two weeks time or three weeks time whatever you want to do I'm going to come back for an update whether I refresh it and have two levels of pencil a light pencil and a proper pencil I hope I haven't confused you and I hope you've got your pencils and don't forget the eraser is a very important thing too hope that's helpful cheers <laughs>